It was somewhere around noon on a Thursday when I decided the first camping trip of the year needed to happen and it needed to happen now. So I had to make some hasty preparations to be able to leave after work the next day. I asked around the office and determined that the destination of choice for this weekend would be Indian Cave State Park on the eastern edge of the state. Thank you for visiting my channel. I hope you leave here mildly entertained at least. And even if you don't live in the Midwest, you can consider yourself an honorary lowlander. Hey look, horses! So with this being my first time to this Indian Cave State Park, which is really cool. I've lived in Nebraska for, how old am I? 40 years, never been here, shame on me. Drove around for 45 minutes or an hour trying to find the spot I wanted to camp, so it's always somewhere better, right? So I I better pick one and get this tent set up because there's lots of other stuff I want to check out. Um, I saw a sign for Scenic Overlook. I saw a sign for a cemetery. Looks kind of cool. So I need to get base camp set up and then I'll drive around before dark. Hopefully check out some of that other stuff. Being relatively new to camping, I found this awesome $20 Ozark Trail tent at Walmart. I figure, why spend a ton of money on this until I find out if I'm actually going to do it regularly? I am going to do it regularly, I promise myself. I screwed it up already, I was supposed to stick it through the holes. I don't know if anybody caught that, but I kind of screwed it up two minutes in and forgot to stick the poles through the sleeves, um, which is extra funny because I write instructions for a living, so please don't tell my coworkers what you saw here. Okay, so this is supposed to be a three-person tent. That's what it says on the packaging. To that I say, lies. There's no way three adult human beings are sleeping in this thing. Maybe three children? Definitely not three adults. And it's a nice, comfortable 90 degrees here in southeastern Nebraska, so there is no way I am putting the rain fly on this thing. I'm gonna need as much ventilation as possible tonight. After setting up the impressive three-person tent, I headed back up the road to take a look at the Saint something cemetery, Deron, Derion, Deron. I'm not going to pretend to know exactly how to pronounce this. Cemetery, up the road. The gravestones here were beautiful in their own way. They were all over 100 years old, and I thought the time of day that I ended up here was absolutely perfect. The sunlight hitting everything in this part of the park was beautiful. And even though I was getting annihilated by mosquitoes the whole time, this was one of my favorite things I saw while I was here at the park. My next destination after the cemetery was to make my way back towards the entrance of the park where I saw a path labeled as Scenic Overlook. Now other than scenic, what caught my eye was that this path looked like it was going 
downhill and it was fairly forested, which is unusual for Nebraska. But along the way, I noticed the sunlight shining in over the western edge of the park was absolutely breathtaking and I couldn't help myself but to stop and take some footage. I pretty much just let the truck idle and creep its way down this path because I was in no rush to get to the bottom. I was thoroughly enjoying looking through the trees on either side of the road. Wait, what is this? What are you doing here, Nate? Get your act together. I was told by one of the people that recommended Indian Cave to me that if you come here on the weekend in the summer, there are actually people working in these old buildings down here. So that'd be kind of neat to come back and see sometime. When I saw this well, I was really hoping there would be something interesting inside. I wasn't expecting much, and sure enough, nothing. When you first get to the scenic overlook, you are greeted by this wonderful little selfie station. I'm usually not much for selfies, but I thought, what the heck, why not? I'm here. Okay, enough of that. If you are a history buff, there are several plaques along the railing of the overlook here with plenty to read and pictures to look at. Yeah, except for this one. That's actually the Missouri River off there in the distance. They do have a spot where you can drive down and actually put a boat in if you want. I got out and looked at the river, but for some reason I didn't take any footage of it. Who knows why? I wish I had though, because it was pretty cool. Well, after I finished taking in the views at the river overlook, I realized the sun pretty much was down and it was going to be getting dark real soon. So, time to head back to camp. Better get some food made. After I got the fire going, I noticed you could see the reflection in the side of the truck, and I thought that would make kind of a neat shot. I'll let you be the judge. I've always loved the way nature sounds at night. In a perfect world, I would have much rather thrown a couple more logs on the fire and sat out there for a while. But the mosquitoes were so flippin' bad that I just had to go in the tent and hide. Don't judge. Well, that was hot. Very hot. I didn't think I was going to be able to sleep at all. I like it cool. But I managed to stay up late enough playing my Switch that I fell asleep, thankfully, and got an okay amount of sleep. Not bad. But then I got up and realized I made a fatal flaw. Brought my pot, forgot the coffee. I do have a little bit of food I could cook for breakfast, but without coffee, it's not even worth eating, if you ask me. So I think I'm gonna get this stuff packed up, drive around a little more, see if there's anything else to see, and head home. I'd come back here again, maybe with some friends next time. Okay. Time to get to work.
even though it was a thousand degrees outside and I was getting wrecked by mosquitoes the whole time, and I forgot my coffee, I'd still call the trip a success. Hope you enjoyed my visit to Indian Cave State Park. See ya. Ah! Stupid bugs.